It can sometimes be hard to distinguish between the adorable Boston Terrier and French Bulldog. They do look quite similar as you can see, but beside these cute upright ears and small nose, there are a lot of differences between the two breeds. Which breed is better for a family with kids and why is the French Bulldog so much more expensive than the Boston Terrier? Divided into 10 topics, we teach you everything about the two breeds so you can decide which one is better for you. Number 1. Origin Both dog breeds do have a great and interesting past. The Boston Terrier breed was developed in Boston in the late 1800s by crossing Bulldogs and White English Terriers. They are one of the few truly all-American breeds and are often referred to as the national dog of the United States. They have been called other names such as the Boston Bulls and American Bull Terrier, but in 1981 they were renamed to Boston Terrier. Due to television commercials, their popularity seems to be renewed and increases the interest in this breed. The French Bulldog was a popular companion among traders in the 17th and 18th centuries in England. Due to the Industrial Revolution, traders relocated from England to France in an attempt to grow their trade. Over the years, these English dogs were mated with the local French dogs and the Bulldog for say was born or French Bulldog in English. They became popular to wealthy women in America and it was common to spend summer vacations in France and then catch sight of this breed and bring it back to America after the vacation was over. Number 2. Personality Boston Terriers have a kind and gentle nature and are often referred to as the American gentlemen. They are a delightful combination of determination, strength, balance and gracefulness, but also can be stubborn, so persistence and consistency are definite musts when training. The French Bulldog has more an even and pleasing temperament, which makes him perfect for a household companion. They are as playful as the Boston Terriers and they demand attention from you. They do only bark when they are really excited, but they can still be vocal with their grunts and snores. French Bulldogs are generally a lazy breed and lazier than Boston Terriers. Sometimes their owners report to spend more time convincing them to go outside than actually being outside. Provide both dog breeds early socialization to ensure that they grow up to well-rounded dogs. They still love to be outside, so give them the chance to explore new people, animals and sounds. Number 3. Appearance The two breeds have the same trademark they are known for. They are appealing ears that are quite large and erect. On average, Boston Terriers are taller but a bit lighter than French Bulldogs. Bostons grow up to 17 inches which is 43 centimeters and weigh up to 25 pounds which is 11 kilograms. French Bulldogs grow up to 13 inches which is 33 centimeters and weigh up to 28 pounds which is 13 kilograms. Boston Terriers are compact, well proportioned and handsome little dogs. They have a broad chest and their head is square and flat on top. Their appealing eyes are round, large and dark. French Bulldogs resemble a Bulldog in miniature and their head is also large and square, with heavy wrinkles rolled above the extremely short nose. Their body beneath the coat is a bit more compact and muscular than the one of the Boston Terriers. Number 4. Trainability Both breeds are very intelligent and love to play, but due to their unique characteristics they have different attitudes towards training. The Boston Terriers are very trainable but can be sensitive and direly in love with their owner, so positive reinforcement is the route to successful training. They adore the mental and physical stimulation that obedience training provides. They want to grow closer to their owner while training and love to learn new things every day. Puppy classes are highly recommended to raise them correctly from young age if you don't have the time to train them yourself. Due to their relaxed attitude that French Bulldogs carry over into their training sessions, training will easy with them as long as you make it seem like a game and keep it fun. They are free thinkers and are not an ideal breed for competing in obedience or agility. Early socialization and puppy classes are also recommended to promote good behavior and help the owner learn to recognize and correct bad habits. When adults are raised the right way, both breeds will be easy to handle in everyday situations and easy to control in uncommon circumstances. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment Both breeds don't need much exercise, however daily walks and tasks help them maintain a healthy weight and mind. A brisk walk anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes 5 times a week should suffice. When outside, consider the weather when taking these walks as both their facial structures and thin coat makes them prone to overheating or suffering in the cold. 
Boston Terriers might want more exercise than normal, which normally occurs with female Bostons. It exists a rare phenomenon in dog breeds. Some owners claim their Boston Terriers need little exercise and remain behaved and healthy, while others walk their smiles a day. If you are looking for a dog whose time investment is more steady, the French Bulldog will be the better choice for you. This breed needs no more than 30 minutes of exercise, but in addition to it loves to spend more time with you. So if you want to be more active with your dog, you can easily animate a French Bulldog to play fun games with you. Number 6. Coat The Boston Terrier wears a smooth, fine coat that comes in three colors, black, seal or brindle, all with a white muzzle and chest giving him the look of wearing a tuxedo. They're easy to groom, you can brush them weekly with a firm bristle brush and bath them with a dry powder shampoo or give them an occasional bath when necessary. They only shed minimal, which is controlled easily by regular brushing. The coat of the French Bulldog is short, smooth, shiny and fine. They can come in a variety of colors including fawn, cream, various shades of brindle and dark markings. Know that you cannot just order a puppy of a particular color and gender, because you cannot predict which color the litters will include due to their randomness. As with the Boston Terriers, they are easy to groom and need only an occasional brushing to keep their coat healthy. They are average shedders, so you should begin grooming your Frenchie at a young age and teach your puppy to stand on a table or floor to make this experience easier on both of you. Number 7. Best Home both the Boston Terrier and French Bulldog do well with other pets and love to play with their family members, but there are some important differences between these two breeds. The Boston Terrier are fantastic with children and they have an unsuspecting amount of energy for a home dog. They are not big enough to throw their weight around and potentially harm children in an accident and they are large enough to not get injured easily. If socialized from young age, they do well with other pets and children of any age. French Bulldogs also do well with other children, but they do best with older kids because they are more muscular than the Boston Terriers, which means that they could hurt a young child. That said, don't leave your dog alone with young children, you need to supervise them and make sure that neither is poking or otherwise harassing the other. French Bulldogs are also more jealous toward other dogs, especially if those other dogs are getting attention from the Frenchie's very own person. This means that the Boston Terrier does much better in a household with young children and other pets, whereas the French Bulldog is more popular among city dwellers with older children without other dogs or cats. Number 8. Health Both breeds are generally a healthy breed. The health problems often arise from the facial structure, but even then they are not common. The illnesses and diseases that can afflict the Boston Terrier can be cataracts, cherry eye and deafness. Because their eyes are so large and prominent, you should wash their faces every day and check their eyes for signs of redness or irritation. The average lifespan of Boston Terriers is 13 to 15 years. The French Bulldog is prone to similar health issues such as cherry eye and juvenile cataracts, but also skin allergies. Like all flat-faced breeds, they are also prone to breathing problems and to poorly in hot or humid weather due to their short coat. French Bulldogs have an average lifespan of 11 to 14 years. Before you buy a puppy, it's important that the breeder can provide health clearances from validated establishments and make sure to get as many information as possible about the breed's common health issues so you're prepared for curing problems. Number 9. Costs As with all dog breeds, the size of your pet varies greatly and depends on factors such as the breeder's reputation, litter size, lineage of the puppy, breed line health and much more. The average price for a Boston Terrier is $700 and the average price for a French Bulldog is around $2,300. The price for a French Bulldog is so much higher because of their popularity and the fact that they need to go through artificial insemination and need special care before and after pregnancy. If you are looking for a puppy with superior lineage or even for one with show quality, you should budget for a Boston Terrier anywhere from $1,600 to $4,500 and for a French Bulldog anywhere from $5,700 to $10,000. Besides that, you should always keep in mind that you'll have yearly costs between $500 to $1,000 for food, vet bills, training, toys and much more. Number 10. Diet the recommended feeding process for both breeds depends on their size and should be an average of 25 to 30 calories per pound of your dog's weight, divided into two equal meals. Beware that Boston Terriers can be glutinous creatures and prone to having large appetites. Or on the opposite side, they can be fickle and picky about their food. High quality food usually solves the latter problem, which is better for their health anyways. 
French Bulldogs love to eat and they are prone to obesity, which can damage their physical structure and puts them at higher risk for some of the breed's health issues, so it's vital to watch their calorie intake and weight. You should also provide them high quality food, healthy fats and essential vitamins so they can grow properly as puppies. So, which breed wins the battle, the Boston Terrier or the French Bulldog? Well, that's up to you. Tell us in the comments and share your opinion with the community. If you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. And if you like our videos, it would make our day if you subscribe to our channel to learn more about dogs in the future.